section 11.1 section 11.1 and starting on page 299 right here so this is the you try it from that section and it starts off it says suppose you're evaluating the following sentence in a world with four cubes lined up in the front row and this is the sentence right here I won't bother to translate it right now because that might give something away but it asks do you think the sentence is true in such a world with four cubes lined up in the front row. So first it asks you to kind of do the thought experiment and see if that's gonna be true, this sentence right here. Second, it says open Cantor's sentences in Cantor's world. Cantor, by the way, he was a German mathematician, 19th century, basically created set theory, really important. So a lot of these, as you have figured out by now, are named after famous logicians and mathematicians. Okay. Open Cantor sentences in Cantor's world. So I've done that already. Here it is. And uh, it's a created world just like it said in the first step. There are four cubes in the front row. And then when it says, evaluate the first sentence in the world. If you're surprised by the outcome, and play the game, which again, we're not going to do. Um, but this is false. This is just, uh, this sentence is the same as this sentence right here. And so this exercise is basically getting us to realize why this is false when there's a world like that. There's going to be something that we're going to do to this sentence to make it true in this world. But right now, it's false. And it's going to explain that. So step three says, it's tempting to read this sentence up here as claiming that if x and y are cubes, then either x is left of y or x is right of y. But there's a conversational implicature in this way of speaking, one that's very misleading. The use of plural cubes suggests that x and y are distinct cubes, but this is not part of the claim made by the first order sentence, the sentence right here. In fact, our sentence is false in this world as it must be in any world that contains even one cube. The reason is because these variables uh, are over the same objects, right? So it's not... Uh, indicating that there is any uh, distinct two objects here. All right, it's cube x and cube y, and those could both be over the same objects. So step four, if we really wanted to express the claim that every cube is to the left or right of every other cube, then we would have to write the following, where x does not equal y. That's the main difference. And there you specify that uh, they are not talking about the same thing. So it says modify this, the first sentence in this way and check it in the world. So we need to put and x is not equal to y right here. So let's do that. There we are. And I'm going to go and x, and there's the not equal sign. It's not identical with y. Now let's check this out. There it is. Okay, so now it's true. We've specified that these two variables range over different things. Okay, so we've done that. Step five, the second sentence in the file looks for all the world like it says there are two cubes, but it doesn't. It says delete all but one cube in the world and check to see that it's still true. All right, so this looks like there's a cube x and there's a cube y. All right, and so let's uh, Let's come over here to the world. We're gonna get rid of every cube like that and come down here and see if it's true or false. It's still true, there's only one cube right there. The reason, there's a cube x right there and we're just using a different variable. We're not saying that there's something else and there's cube y, there it is. So this says, See if you can modify the second sentence so it is false in a world with only one cube, but true if there are two or more. And the way we do that is the same we did in the first sentence. So we're going to just write and x is not identical to y. Let's see what happens. Now it's false. There's only one cube, right? x is identical to y. So that's false. So let's drop another cube in there and see what happens. And we have a true statement now that there are two cubes.
right? So it says save this modified sentences is sentences multiple one. And this is just illustrating how variables work with multiple objects and how identity works with variables.